Come on. Mark, it's a great point uh, to ensure safety in League One. You must be proud of your own performance as well. Uh, definitely. I mean, to be honest, if you if you can't get motivated for a game like this, playing against the Championship, you'd be silly. I mean, the boys went out there and they just got their head down. And from the get-go, you could see what our plan was to press them and play our football, and we did that. Do you think the fact there was more people in the ground had an impact on that today? Oh, definitely. I mean, to be fair, you don't need anyone in the crowd to motivate you to do something that you love, but it definitely is. When you hear people saying, come on, well done, it's definitely a factor, to be honest. And, you know, hopefully we can address that next season and, you know, kick on. Of course you've played against the best in the league today yeah. and you've you've proved that you're more than capable obviously winning the man on match award yeah. which unfortunately is in a broken state <laughs> at the moment but you know you must be proud of your performance. Oh, definitely I mean for me it's always whenever I go out on the pitch it's all about 100% effort because I'm doing what I love and not many people get the opportunities to do what they love so I just went out there and I thought you know I'm going to enjoy this and that's what I did. Of course you know you've, when we spoke before you always said it's, it's just great to be back on the yeah. pitch. Have you got used to it now, or is it still in a, that sort of twilight stage? I mean, to be honest, you know, sometimes I do pinch myself because being out for that long and knowing that there's players that have been out for two, three weeks, and, you know, the duration of the season being off back to pre season, so about seven weeks and they never get a club, I think it's a massive achievement. I think the season actually needs to finish first for me to sit down and say, you know what, you've come back and you've done well. Of so. course, you know, do you think there's. You've played brilliantly today, you've yeah. not match well, but. You've, you, you, you probably first would say that there's probably more to come from yourself. Oh, definitely. I mean, look, you know, once you get a pre-season, a pre-season is always good for you. I mean, you start to know more about your players and you get that second wind where I, I, I'm playing and I'm working towards that second wind where a lot of the players here, by five minutes, that second wind's there because they've had that pre-season and they've had that build-up of games. So, no, definitely pre-season, I'm looking forward to it. Of course, there's some games here where you've just ran yourself into the ground and literally had to come off because of cramp. But today, you've played the whole match, yeah. so your fitness must be getting better. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, like I said, we have Pete, the fitness coach, and um, the gaffer. Our, our training's always at a high tempo, so it replicates a match. So when you keep doing that, obviously your body is going to get used to it. And, and I think that's what's happened to my body now. You know, it's taken a few games to get there, but I'm there. You know, I'm happy that I played 90 minutes. And like you said, done well against the top of the league. And... You know, can't ask for more, personally. Are you enjoying your time at Coventry City? Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, I always... That's a stupid question. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, you got to think, well, when you get embraced by by someone, it's not. you feel comfortable. And I feel like the fans have embraced me and that makes me feel comfortable because when I go out there, I know they're going to be cheering me on and that always makes me feel like, you know what, I'm going to go out there and give them my best for them. Of course, you know, Sheffield United next week, a great place to play oh. football, of course. And... <laughs> You know, we're going to bring a lot of fans there, but yeah. we can go there now and play with a freedom. How big an impact that would have? I mean, it's always nice to play with a freedom, but there's always a there's always an element of pressure when you're playing football because, you know, in terms of you want to perform, so you always put that pressure on yourself. But knowing that we're safe and stuff like that, the boys can go on and kick on, and hopefully that's the start from now for next season. And finally, you know, we're all aware that your contract's up uh, at the end of the season. Yeah. Would, would you be open to stay here? I would love to stay here, to be honest. Like I said to you, there's no better feeling for me as an individual than being feel like I'm loved. And that's how I feel at the moment. So sky's the limit or sky, sky blue's the limit. <laughs>